I've been looking for this for a while now on how to create a 3D character in Blender and then transfer it over to uh, Clip Studio Paint. And I did find the method. Um, you have to make it an FBX file. So I'm going to make a really simple uh, little character here with just boxes, um, extruding the faces like we normally do. And then I'm going to add a basic armature to that and show you how to export that into a file and then import it into Clip Studio Paint. Once you have your character made, go ahead and make it into wireframe mode so that you can see the inside of your character or creature, whatever you created. And then if you do shift A, once you're in object mode, you'll be able to add the armature bone by bone to your character and make sure that it's in the center of your character um, or object, whatever you made from every angle. That way it evenly tugs on the object whenever you move the bones and pose them. Okay, and here's our simple armature. All we did was um, extrude all of the bones we already had there to go where we wanted them to so that we'll be able to manipulate our character. And I'm gonna go ahead and move the cube forward a little bit so that that armature is directly in the middle. The armature is built and centered, and now what we're going to do is um, parent those, parent the armature to the cube and make sure that you select the cube first and the armature second, and then you can hit, I believe it's control P, and that'll parent that to that armature, and then go ahead and add automatic weights. And there you have it, you're able to pose your very simple character and move around the limbs. Uh, head moves, you can twist it, you can turn it, you can move it just like you normally would. Um, the reason I did such a simple character is because there's tons of videos out there on how to build an awesome character, so go out there and find those, and then find some detailed armature videos, and you can build a real skeleton for your character. This is just simply to show you how to get it from here over to Clip Studio, from Blender to Clip Studio. Okay, now I'm just going to add a simple material. Uh, let's go ahead and do red. That way we'll be able to see it really well in Clip Studio. And it does take the lighting and everything over there with it. So go ahead and go to Export and you're going to choose FBX. And go ahead and save it to your desktop documents, wherever you want to save it. And name it whatever you want to name it. And then once you've done that, you're going to hit Export as FBX. And that'll be saved there. And then all you have to do now is go over to Clip Studio Paint, and we'll continue from there. Okay, now that you have Clip Studio Paint open, you can import it here from the import menu. Or with the new Clip Studio, you can actually just drag and drop it. So that's what I'm going to do. And you can't drag and drop the Blender file. It'll come up with a warning telling you why. Um, so you do want to do the FBX one that you created. And once you drop it in there, as you can see, you can grab all of the bones that you made. 
and pose the character, make it big, small, just like you can with the material 3D objects that are already in Clip Studio. So it's completely posable. So if you are drawing or whatever you're doing, you can import your character and then put them in any, any position you want and then draw over them or just add some extra details, whatever you need to do.